Hey, this is Anthony Threads. So you can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Cena 10U Bluetooth communicator available at Revzilla.com. This is the 10U. Check it out, Cena. You've changed the game again. If we look at it on the inside, you're going to see it's a fully integrated Bluetooth communicator. So remember, that's music, that's navigation, that's rider to rider. Cena's gotten away from the SMH series, and now we have three new Bluetooth communicators that are underneath the 20S for fall of 2015. We have the 10U that I'm showing you in front of me. There's going to be the 10R and the 10S. The 10S is going to be a toggle wheel. The 10R is gonna be low profile, but it has about half the range. The 10U is the investment you're making over the $200 mark to get you up to four riders paired together with two Bluetooth pairings, which would be, in my opinion, music and navigation, but you're getting what I'm considering a custom fit. Now, I can't call it an OE fitment. Everybody's gonna get all pissed off at me. It's not OE because Cena's not working with Schubert. They're not working with Shoei. They're not working with the Rye. What they did, though, is they reverse engineered the guts of these helmets, and there's no Rai on the table, but they're doing it for Rai as well, and now you get this Bluetooth communicator, which is fully featured with great speakers, with great sound, voice prompts, noise canceling, battery life that you expect, again, 10 hours of talk, 13 days of standby, and you're getting it seamlessly integrated within the helmet. So if you can see on my left here, the Schubert, notice it sits behind the cheek pad, and the Schubert actually has deeper speaker pockets, so you're getting the same speakers off the 20S, which are even more robust than the show in the Arai version. But notice, there are your finger controls, there's going to be your boom mic, your speakers are integrated on the back of the helmet here, you're going to have your battery worked in. If you move to the center of my table, this is my Shoei Neotech. Notice I have it propped open. Check this out. Here's my battery from Cena. There's an antenna wire that goes up into the helmet for FM radio. There's an antenna that goes for rider to rider. So again, one plus three, so up to four people paired, full duplex. And then you're going to have it working its way around the front. Watch, I'm going to push both the buttons here, turn it on. You're going to see it blink blue here in the back. You hear it come on. Again, that simple, and you're getting up to a mile of range. You can hear it talking to me, trying to pair with everything. The other nice part about the 10U is it's actually funny. It's a pro and a con in my eyes. You're investing in it, but you basically have this remote control. It gives you a couple months of power on every charge. It's completely insane. It allows you more flexibility. It's going to fit on your grip or on your handlebar, and it's actually meant to be down. Now, my gripe with it, with it is that it's a little wide, and you're going to have to reach across it to get to your turn signals. You're either going to love it or you hate it. My love of it, it's a forward, back, and press joystick along with two additional buttons. It sits low profile, so unless you have really tiny hands, you should be okay. But they're giving this to you. Notice the tension here on the clamp. That's allowing you to have this remote control device. Now, I believe it does come on the 10R as well, but again, giving you that to allow you to even keep your hand on your grip versus coming back up here with two fingers to operate it, that's a nice touch. And you can see here on my Shoei that I have the sock off of this. This will come with a wind sock as well. So you've open, if you open up the box, you're going to get the charging device, the USB cable, the wall plug. You're going to get sticky mounts so you can integrate it. Now remember, from a fit standpoint, it's going to be this custom fit. That's the beauty. And by integrating it within the helmet, you're minimizing weight. You're also cutting down on anything that would hang off the side that would create wind noise. So think about the 20S hangs on the side. Think about the 10S hangs on the side. What you're doing is you're adding a sail to the helmet. So you're detracting from the aerodynamics. You're detracting from the quality. Now, some people don't mind it because they wear earplugs anyway. Some people are absolutely going to gravitate to the fact that this is going to sit right in between the cheek pad. Now, remember, it is an electronic. So while we do ship for free over 39 bucks, once you open the box, we can't take it back. And we do this to protect our future customers. We don't want to get anybody that buys one of these that gets an electronic that's actually been pulled apart. Again, there's no way to test it to make sure it's working perfectly. So keep that in mind and call us, and we're happy to answer all of your questions before you invest in it, but that's part of this video too. We really want you to understand what you're buying. Now, moving on from that, remember, we're going to ship for free, as I said, and I'd love to hear your comments, your questions, your feedback. Click our logo on the screen, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Now I want to break into the guts, and I want to open this bad boy up. So I'm going to grab my donut here, and remember, this is the Shoei version, there's a Schubert version, there's also an Arai, and the Arai sits up a little bit different. And the Arai, they're all full face, Arai does not make a modular, so it's actually a little bit different than the Shoei, but it sits seamlessly. Now what you're going to see when I pull this cheek pad off, is you're going to see how this integrates. Pull my cheek pad out, pull it back here, and you're going to see the device right here up along the front, it's actually really sweet. 
I'm gonna pull it out just like that. Notice that this boom sits up on the front, it has tabs, it works its way right into the helmet, it's held in place by the tabs that work the, the ear or the cheek pad, and again, voice activation, noise canceling, fully integrated, and notice it pulls out the speaker with it. Now I will tell you that this is on the Shoei and on the Arai, and there are gonna be other manufacturers they do. You're getting the 10R, or you're getting the SMH-10R speaker. I would say this, it's no fault of Cena's, they have to work with what fits based on the helmet, but it is up to the manufacturers that over time, hopefully they give you deeper and deeper speaker pockets so you can get upgraded speakers within your helmet. Now, if you want those upgraded speakers, go with something like the 10R or the 20S from Cena, and you're gonna get those upgraded speakers out of the box. But the way that this integrates, they're using the previous model of speaker. Now you can see it works its way around to the back here. If you come in here towards the bottom, I'm gonna pull out my comfort liner as well and look at how this integrates. So again, there's my battery. Notice it's seamless integration. There's the plug that I would plug it in to charge it. And again, inside this helmet, there's also going to be an antenna that runs up along the side for both FM as well as rider to rider intercom. Now I pulled it apart, I made it a mess, but you saw how cleanly it installs. So if I really think through my favorite parts about this, it's the fact that it minimizes drag, it's fully integration, it's nice and neat. I'm only becoming more OCD in my adult life. The things that I don't like are actually very few. One thing would be I wish you were getting the 20S speakers across the line. Again, it's a little bit of a nitpick. That has to do with the helmet manufacturers. The other thing is some folks might find this grip a little obtrusive to sit on the grip itself. You could always move it to the center of your handlebar and you're going to be good to go. But all in, Cena seems to be on a roll with the new 10U, the 10R, and the 10S. And really my favorite here is the 10U just because they're leveraging what the manufacturers are already doing so well, which is creating a streamlined helmet. And now you're building a system to integrate with it. It's even easy to set up because they're giving you an app for iOS and for Android to allow you to tie everything together. The other thing to keep in mind, which in my eyes is a huge selling point, is the fact that because it's fully integrated, you don't have to worry about waterproofing anymore. So again, they can design this to be inside the helmet, knowing it's going to be waterproof naturally because it's close to your head, and they don't have to worry about all of the technology trade-offs they might have to make by building it on the outside. So again, big leap forward just in streamlining the technology and not having to worry about moisture or water in the future if you get caught in a downpour. Now the next step in your journey is to click the info button on your desktop or on your mobile device. Visit the product detail page, and I'll tell you at revzilla.com, start with my information, but see what other riders are saying about the new Cena 10U and how the experience they're having with it matches up with the feedback I just offered you. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks, but remember, it's an electronic. We're not gonna take returns back. And as always, if you wanna talk to a gear geek, take us up on that. Give us a shout. See us at RevZilla.com via email or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Cena 10U. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.